Hey guys, what's going on? This is Matt here, and welcome to some more customs on this map making. So, guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add in some viable debris. Now, because in this like sort of setup that I've got right now, I don't have any sort of extra zone set up at all. Um, so, you know, th there's no zombie window or anything like that. Now, of course, when you normally do this, you know, you'd have it going into another zone. Now, because I don't, um, I won't be adding in any of the uh, any of the KVPs, things like that, which, you know, enable the next zombie spawner. Now, I will let you guys know when to add them. You know, I will show you, you know, where to add them um, and what they need to be. But um, I won't actually be adding them myself, okay? Just so, you know, I thought I'd just let you guys know that before I do start this tutorial. So then. First of all, what we need to do is get a model, of course. So, this is the doorway where the debris is going to be. So, let's go into, eh? and let's go for, let's go for a barrel. There we go. Let's go for, um, let's go for that. Just the first one I saw. Now, notice this is static. Now, I know in quite a few videos, uh, you know, that, that you know, other people make on Bible Debris. They try to tell you to get a model which is solid. Now you don't need to do that. Um, in the map, you know, in the map that I'm currently creating, like you know, like my, my personal map, um, I've got quite a few things in there which, you know, are not solid models. Now, you know, there's no reason which you know you don't need to have a solid model for a door. All you need to do is make sure you clip it. Um, so I will be showing you guys how to. You know, basically make it make an invisible um, wall over the debris, so the player just can't just walk straight through. So in this case, you know, we are using a you know a solid model, but I am still going to add a clip though, just so uh, like the entire thing itself is solid. If that makes any sense. So yeah, you know, don't be you know, don't sort of th feel like you have to use a solid model because you don't actually have to do that whatsoever. Um, I'll show you guys how to do it, so you, you know you don't have to. You know, basically you're not limited to that. So. Let's grab that model, go into our 2D grid view, right click, and let's go down to MISC and Model. There we go. And let's go down to X Model. And open that. There we go. So, I'm going to just lie this down. Like this. There we go. A bit right in the center. And on the floor. A bit in the floor, but why not? Right, so then, uh, I'm only going to add one here just so there's something there. Obviously, you know, you can make this look however good you want. I'm just going to do it quite simple or just put one. I mean, if you do use more than one model, though, um, pretty much just add the exact same KVPs to both the models. Um, for example, if I wanted to, I could quite easily just copy it. Just make sure I've got the same KVPs on, on, you know, on both of them. Um, and they'll both basically do the same thing then. So, you know, you can have as many models as you like. Just make sure that you add, you know, the same um, KVPs to each one. So, next what we need to do is make this into a script model. Because at the moment, this is just a normal uh, model here. You can see we've got Miss Model. So, you need to make that into a script one. So, you click on the model itself. And right-click, go down to Script and Model. Now, you can see that's changed now to Script Model. You can just edit that if you want to, but that's just the way I do it. So, now we've got a script model. Next, we need to add some KVPs. Now, of course, I'll leave these KVPs in the description of this video so you guys can, you know, uh, essentially use that for reference. So, first of all, we're going to do is go to Target, and this will be the name of the spawn. So, you know, I'm, I won't actually be adding this. This is just what you could have. So, maybe this could be Zone 3 underscore spawners. Okay, so that would be the zone name of the next one. So, you know, if I did have zombies here, I would add this. So it's your zone name. It could be whatever it is. So zone something maybe. Um, I don't know. Second underscore zone underscore spawners, you know, whatever you need. Um, so that's what you'll add there if you are putting zombies into the next room. I'm not doing so. I'm not going to be adding that myself. So next, it's going to be script. Now, you do need to have this one. Script underscore noteworthy. Noteworthy. Uh, and you go put jiggle. So jiggle. There we go. So next it's going to be script FX ID. So FX ID. And that's going to be, to be large ceiling dust. I've got notes on my other screen. So I don't mess this one up. There we go. So large ceiling dust, FX ID. 
So next it's going to be script underscore fire fx. So we can leave a script there. So fire fx. And that's going to, that's going to be pulled to Geist. Just checking I spelled that right, yeah. <laughs> okay, so next it's going to be target name. Target name. And this one is going to be basically the name of the debris. So I'm just going to call this just debris one. Just something simple. So whatever you want to call this debris. So debris one. Next, you're going to do spawn flags. That was spelt really badly. No, not capitals, come on. There we go. And that's going to be one. So spawn flags one. Next, it's going to be script link two. So script link. Now make sure you have the capital T now. So it's capital T, then O. Okay, make sure you have that capital in there. So script link two, one. Now, if this isn't your first debris, if this is, you know, like your second or third one, you need to change that one to whatever you need it to be. Um, I'll explain that a bit later on why. But um, pretty much when, when you buy debris in you know any other map you know just like the, the debris sort of moves to another location and then disappears that location which it moves to is pretty much we're going to put um, a script struct in the map in, um, in a second and that's going to be where it moves to that point in the map now obviously to link the model to that script struct you need to link them together which is what this link to does so obviously if we've got more than one debris in the map then we can't have the value of one for both of them or else you know they'll interfere with each other so you can have one for this one because this is the first one but if we're making another one you'd have script link two two of the value or three or four you know and so on so just make sure that you have that value depending on how many you have really um right so the next what we need to do is x out of this there we go so next we need to actually add in the script struct so we're right clicking the 2d grid view go down to script and struct so i'm going to put it about here uh, just a little bit of, a little bit above the ground um no reason really just one two so next we need to Add some KVPs now and for this. Now there's only one KVP for this. And it's script link name. And we'll have that as one. Okay. So again, you know, if you have more than one, you need to have this link, this, you know, this value of script link name to so the same as this. So I'm going to put one for that. So, you know, if it was our second one and I put, you know, script link two um, for this, if I put, you know, value of, let's say, seven or something, then this would have to be seven here, okay? So just make sure you have them both as the, as the same one there. There we go. Right, so next what we need to do is actually add the clip around this, okay? Now, this is the part that most people don't actually show you this because uh, I don't know why, but a lot of people seem to think that you have to have a static model here, you know, that's solid, uh, you don't whatsoever. So what we're going to do next is actually add a clip over this, so an invisible barrier, uh, which will, of course, disappear when the door is opened. So I'm just going to put it around the entire door, pretty much. Uh, just make it fit properly. So just... I'm just going to clip the edges as well, because I don't want the player to um, essentially run into any sharp edges, you know, and get stuck on them. So I'm just going to clip the edges a second. Just to make it so it's... Just a little bit better for our gameplay, really. You don't have to do this, of course, just... This is just me. But what have I just done? I don't select everything there we go let's <laughs> so just try and go into this but i've selected the model by accident there we go and just texture that with clip there we go yeah so, so a bit of a mess up there i didn't realize i even had it selected still there we go so just draw a clip over it very easy to do uh, you know if you followed the other tutorials you know you'll have done you know you'll have made clips several times so Touch that with clip. Next, what we need to do is make this into a script brush model. So usually, when we have sort of like you know, could like a door like one of these doors here, you would have you know a brush model. So right click. Well, you got only got this clip selected. Go down to script and brush model. Okay, so that means that we can basically add some sort of functionality behind this. So next, what we're going to need to do is enter some KVPs in for this. So what we're going to do is we'll do script delete one okay so what that's going to do is when this sort of you know basically when the trigger gets um paid for uh, this clip is going to disappear so script delete one there we go 
So this is going to be spawn flags one. Spawn flags one, there we go. And now target name. Target name, and this is going to be the name of the debris. So debris one. Because that's what we named, you know, that's what, that's what we've basically been naming it all this time, debris one. And of course, you know, you change that to whatever you want to have. So now, you can see, we've got a clip over all this, and the player's not going to get through this door whatsoever until it's been paid for. So, just, just remember though, guys, um, as I said earlier, I don't have any spawners in this room, okay? So, the KVPs which you should have entered, if you have got zombies in, is at the very start on the actual model itself where i put target zone name underscore spawners you know so you know zone two underscore spawners which i didn't add um, in this video because obviously you know i don't need to that's what you need to be adding again you know i will put it in the description though so you know you can just take a look at that but just remember you you will have an extra kvp which i didn't enter okay um because of you know the situation that i've got here so Next, what we need to do is actually add in the actual trigger, of course. So, next, we need to right-click in our 2D grid view, go down to Trigger, and Use. So, I'm going to add it on this side. There we go. Put it a bit closer, there we go. Put the trigger, there we go. So, next, what we need to do is add some KVPs now into this. Now, we're going to do Target Name. I thought I spot Target wrong at first. Tag it in, and that's going to be zombie debris. So zombie underscore debris. There we go. Next, we're going to do tag it. And this is going to be the name of the debris. So debris one. Or whatever you called it. So next, we're going to do zombie underscore cost. Now, this has got to be quite a specific value, this. Um, of course, if you've had it, you know, if you've added your own um, custom cost, which I do actually have a video on that. If you've got your own custom cost um, for you know openable doors, things like that, then you can use things like that. Just make sure you, you know that, that you've done it in the actual script um, file itself correctly there. Um, but if that's all fine, then you can add you know whatever you've put there. But the uh, just the normal default standard ones are 100, 200, 250. 500, 750, 1000, 1250, 1500, or 2000 points. So I'm going to add 1000. So this is going to be the cost of this debris, is 1000. Next, it's going to be script underscore flag. And then the uh, enter, and then the zone name. So now, of course, I'm not actually going to enter this. This is, you know, the second one that I'm not entering. Uh, there's, there's only two of them, which, um, you know, the one at the very start of this video and this one, um, which you will need to enter um, if you do have a zombie spawn or another zone on the other you know, on the other side of this debris. Uh, but because I don't, I'm not, I'm not entering that. So all you need to do is script underscore flag and then enter and then the zone name, okay? Like I said, I'm not entering that all because I don't have any other spawners on the other side. Um, I do have a video though on on zoning and you know and basically adding a second room. So if you watch that, um, all of that will make sense hopefully. So we've done that now. We can escape out of there. So, you know, diesel like that. So as you can see now, we've got a blue line connecting the trigger to the actual clip itself, which will get deleted of course when this gets bought. We've got a red line from the trigger to the model, which means that they're linked. And we've also got a red line from the model to the script struct. So that's going to fly over there and then disappear um, when this gets paid for. Now, of course, if you do have a two-way sort of thing, um, and you know maybe you want the debris to be able to be bought from this side, um, you know, your map might you know your map might need that. Uh, of course, just put your trigger on the other side as well. So you know, quite easily, just copy it over like that, um, and it'll work perfectly fine. So you guys, so then I'm going to go and compile this map, and then I'll see you guys over in game where we'll see if it works. So, I'll see you guys over at World at War. Okay, then guys, so we're over at World at War now, then let's launch the map. There we go. It's a bad gun, just in case anything does spawn in a bit faster. So, let's open up this first door that we've already previously done. So, we can see here's the debris. You can see we've got the clip working. We cannot jump over this, even if we really, really try. Um, you can see I did that sort of, you know, the slightly slanted edge, just so it doesn't completely trap the player. You know, it's a bit easier to... So I move around it. Um, so then, 
yeah, you can see, you know, we can't get over there. We've got press and hold F to clear debris, cost a thousand, let's buy that. There we go, and now you can see we can walk through it and it also just disappears. So yeah guys, that's um, how to add debris. Um, of course, if you have any questions, please do leave a comment below in the comment section. Um, and I do my very best to help you there. So yeah guys, um, of course, you know, if you do have zombie spawners in your next room, you will need to add them extra to KVPs, which I will still provide in the description. Um, I'll just leave a little note in there though, just so you guys know, you know, it's not, you know, you don't have to have them, but you will need them if, you know, if you have like a second zone in there. So, yeah guys, thank you very much for watching this, thanks for the, the support as always, and I'll see you guys later. See you guys.